friends, and welcome to MBM Minute News for this week. Serious topic today. We've got, uh, over the next two weeks, a, a final appeal to close the gap that we've communicated at the end of last year that we had between pledges and budget. Remember, our budgets are determined by what people said they're gonna give. And the beauty of MBM is people keep their words. So we know in advance what people are gonna give through the course of the year. Well, that gap was until recently about 310,000. That's more than three salaries. So this is one final appeal over the next two weeks uh, so that uh, people can consider either giving more or giving for the first time via pledges uh, so that in the end we'll know if we need to let go of any staff and how many. As it stands now, uh, with that kind of gap, it's at least three staff that need to, need to be released and that's an extraordinary painful situation. So I'm asking people who, uh, firstly who those who pledged and give and give generously, if you've done what you can, well done. This is not necessarily for you. For those who um, have pledged but feel like they can give more, uh, and that's me, Sandy and I have realised that uh, we've revisited our pledge from last, from, from this year, and uh, we want to add another 5,000 on top of what we pledged, because I love the staff and I'm committed to those goals and a desire to reach the western suburbs of Sydney for Jesus, as well as keep supporting our missionaries. So if you're in that category, can I ask you to communicate a extra what extra amount you want to pledge or if you haven't pledged at all to do that and if you've in that category you, you, you love Jesus you've made MBM your home but you haven't given anything well it's time to feel the weight there are consequences and the consequences are in a couple of weeks time if we don't close the gap we're gonna to have to let go of stuff and I do not want to do that uh, so I'd love you to seriously feel the weight of that challenge either way we know God is in charge and we're really thankful for that and, uh, and we look forward to seeing you next week as I'll communicate a little bit further on this challenge and as we consider the big question, is it true that, as our Western culture says, we need to be true to ourselves? How much of that is true and how much of that is false? Well, look forward to seeing you this Sunday to get the answer to that.